Welcome, guys. You might have wondered at some point of your life that what is the difference between an ethical hacker and a cracker? Are they same kind of persons? Well, actually they are not. And today, this video is going to totally remove your confusion between these two different topics. So stick around to find interesting facts about the topic. And by the end of the video, the difference between the two will be clear to you. Imagine you have a really strong lock on your door. A good locksmith can figure out how to open it without breaking it. They do this to make sure the lock is strong and can't be easily broken into. That's like an ethical hacker. On the other hand, a thief might try to break your lock to steal things. That's like a cracker. An ethical hacker is basically a cybersecurity professional who uses their hacking skills for good. They are often referred to as white hat hackers. Their primary goal is to identify vulnerabilities in computer systems, networks, and applications before malicious actors can exploit them. While on the other hand, a cracker is someone who uses their hacking skills for malicious purposes. They are often referred to as black hat hackers. Their primary goal is to exploit vulnerabilities in computer systems for personal gain or to cause damage. Here are some key characteristics of an ethical hacker one. Authorized access. They have explicit permission from system owners to conduct their tests. Two, legal and ethical conduct. They operate within legal and ethical boundaries, respecting privacy and data protection laws. Three, problem-solving skills. They use their technical expertise to find and fix security weaknesses. Four, Communication skills. They can clearly explain complex technical issues to non-technical audiences. 5. Continuous learning. The cybersecurity landscape is constantly evolving, so ethical hackers must stay updated on the latest threats and techniques. Now let's have a view at some key characteristics of a cracker. 1. Unauthorized access. They access systems without permission. Two, illegal activities. They often engage in criminal activities, such as stealing data, identity theft, or extortion. Three, desire for personal gain. Their motivation is typically financial or to cause disruption. Four, lack of ethics. They disregard the consequences of their actions. Following are some examples of ethical hacking activities. Testing a company's website for vulnerabilities like SQL injection or cross-site scripting SSS. Assessing the security of a company's network infrastructure. Analyzing software code for security flaws. Now some examples of cracking activities. Stealing credit card information. Defacing websites. Spreading malware. Launching DDoS attacks, stealing personal information to impersonate someone else. Harassing or threatening individuals online. It's important to note that the terms hacker and cracker are often used interchangeably, but there is a clear distinction between the two. Ethical hackers play a crucial role in protecting organizations and individuals from cyber attacks while crackers pose a significant threat to cybersecurity.